Hello dear lady and gentle nerds, I'm Hendrik and welcome to another episode of Two Minute Thursday or actually I do think I need to come up with a different name for this whole series because my Thursday episodes on the Paint All the Minis channel are called Two Minute Thursday so it feels a bit odd to call this also Two Minute Thursday. But for the time being I will be calling it this until I come up with a better name. Anyway, I'm here today to talk about a new game I bought and yes, if you have very sharp eyes then it's the one that's standing right over there. Moonstone the game. So yeah, I bought Moonstone the game and as you saw, besides the base game for two players, I also bought two of the Giants and then a third faction, the Fairies and the Rulebook, even if the Rulebook isn't necessary because there's a Rulebook or a Rules Digest in the two player box. Um, I heard Tom Greenway, the founder and developer of, uh, of Moonstone, on the Paint All the Minis podcast. And then I looked at a couple of the YouTube battle reports and I was pretty excited about the game. I loved the miniatures and the way they were painted. And also the rules seemed very unique and having a new kind of twist to playing a tabletop game. So there are dice in the game, but actually there are four-sided dice that are going to be representing the moonstones on the game. And then your miniatures are heading there to dig them out. And your miniatures uh, have uh, certain stats and the fights and magic are done with a deck of cards. And what I found so interesting about the game as I listened to it and watched it is that you can bluff about what you have on your hand. So either you say, okay, I got a green two or a green tree. And then your opponent can say like, yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna believe him and then if you say it again and he might be hmm maybe maybe he's bluffing and then he can call the bluff and if I did bluff then um, I I suffered the consequences but if I didn't bluff and I really had that card that I said I had I do twice the amount of damage or something in that way. I need to still brush up on the rules. But I want to have a quick look at the um, two player set over here that I ordered a couple of weeks ago and I have been quite busy with other projects. So now I think Moonstone will be the next game on my painting desk. Uh, let's take a look at the two player box over here. I paid 55 pound for it. It includes two factions, the goblins and the humans and everything you need to play the game. There are eight miniatures in there. It's eight resin miniatures. So I'm also curious to see what is the quality of these miniatures and how good they are cast and well, in a future video, I will share my experiences with putting them together and painting them. But uh, I probably will already lose some words on the quality of the miniatures. So there's the rules booklet in here. That is a couple of pages. Uh, seems something like 12 to 14 pages. So that's quite a compact rule set, which I think is very good to a, get other people interested into the game. But from listening and watching the videos, I understand that this is a game that can go a lot deeper and it has a lot of strategic possibilities. So it should be quite interesting despite the small rule set. Then there's the deck of cards in there that 
you play with. There are energy markers. The bases for the miniatures and here we have the moonstones that are the blue four-sided dice and then two six-sided dice and I don't recall what they're for. Uh, there's this foam in there. I also had a look already at the other two boxes and it is what they use to protect the miniatures. Um, I'm not yet sure if I like that or not. Just from an environmental point of view this seems a bit maybe not as good but yeah I'm, I'm not sure so uh, let's see. Then we have the character cards over here and the miniatures and a measurement widget with one, two, three and four inches and I think that is very nice that you have everything you need to play the game in there. Very, very positive. Well, let's take a look at these miniatures. There's eight of them, as I said, in two factions. Okay, well, that looks quite a lot of cleanup to do, but the miniatures themselves do look quite nice. But yeah, there's a lot of flash over there, and they also seem to be fiddly, so it will be interesting to see how they will go together. Also interesting to see that there's different kinds of resins used or different colors used. Maybe it's simply color coded so it's easier to put these miniatures than together. I'm not sure yet. I need to look later at the box art to figure out what goes how together. But here already quite a little bit of so that were the humans and, and this will be the goblins. Uh, these seem to be slightly better but also tiny, tiny models. You still can feel the residue that was used to release the resin from the molds. I'm quite surprised that there's so much waste resin used over here but the miniatures look very nice, very nice detail. Just the cleanup might, might cost me some nerves. So yeah overall the miniatures do look quite nice, just a bit bit uh, concerned about how much time I will have to spend on cleaning them up and yeah there's there's a lot of flash and pieces over there that I wish or let's say that if you've been playing or building miniatures from bigger companies they have usually a lot cleaner costs and then you're a bit spoiled but I do think that the sculpts are very beautiful and have a lot of character and I do think that they will be a lot of fun to paint. And I think this will be a quite nice project and we'll have to see how these turn out. So these are the cards that you play the game with and there are these different card decks and that you use to determine the damage and these are the cards that you use to make your combat actions and that is something that is like very interesting. There's different kind of um, 
combinations of cards that if you're having a falling swing attack then you can see what's the best way to guard against it and then you also see how much damage you would suffer and I think that is a very nice possibility to play the game and it is something else than just rolling dice as this is like giving you the possibility to like think what will my opponent use and what would be my best chance of success against him. Then here we have some, I think these are um, effect cards or something like that, event cards. Yeah, I think this is going to be very uh, nice and interesting to play. And I'm looking forward to getting these minis on the table and play with my friends. Let's also take a quick look at the fairies of the Enclave. So this is a faction or troop box as it's called. And as you see, they come with the cards of the miniatures in there, the bases, and here you have the three miniatures packed in separate little bags and again between these foam inserts and this tree is I think the first mini that I saw that I say immediately is very good but it's a very big piece uh, and here you again see quite a lot of flash so a bit of a pain to clean up and little pieces that are standing off a very a very thin so this could be a real pain to assemble but I think I will have to wait to see how that goes. And then a quick look into the rule book. I do think that the art of this game is very very interesting. Got a little bit of background, some fluff and then we already get into the game rules here we see how a game in action looks like so here we have the moonstones that these characters are fighting for it's played on a small table so that makes it very interesting for also playing it at home and the rules and events and agendas and then we have in this book a lot more fluff that is of course always nice some scenarios also with the background information and then all the characters that currently are available so they just had a successful kickstarter campaign where they had a completely new faction and um, they looked very very nice and also some very nice buildings were available there so quite a lot of fluff in this book um, it's a good quality so yeah that was my first look and unboxing of Moonstone the game I am really excited on trying out this game I think the rules are something that's completely unique and that I am very excited about on trying out. The miniatures seem from a first look to be so la la. I think they are very nice sculpts but the cleanup looks to be quite a bit of work and yeah with a limited hobby time that's always something that I like to eliminate so the cleaning up stage is something that I usually don't enjoy particularly and then I have been spoiled by very good miniatures that are easy and clean to assemble from a Privateer Press and Infinity or uh, Corvus Belly and also of course of a Games Workshop so I do think that is something where Goblin King Games still has room to improve. I hope that the next miniatures of Moonstone the game will be a lot cleaner and better cast not, not so much flash on the miniatures um, but that's just one part of course and once the minis are 
assembled and cleaned and primed and ready to be painted I do think that I will enjoy it a lot and of course playing the game is what this is all about and I do think that in a couple of months I should have been able to put them all together and enjoy the game and see how it goes and I also hope that a couple of my friends from the Vasa Board Games Club will get interested in this game. That's why I actually bought the two-player set and also the fairies so that I have three factions and that I can get the people interested in playing the game and then hopefully they will pick up a couple of the other factions. So there's six in total and I do think that with this and what they might be getting we would have a very good set and the beauty is that the minis are quite affordable i think one of the troop boxes is around 20 22 pound that's for three to four minis i think that's quite a good price uh, considering that it's a small company and that it's made out of resin with very high detail so i do think that the prices are all really good yeah um if you're curious about Moonstone the game, I linked uh, throughout this video a couple of their battle reports and also uh, in the description are links to the shop online. It's a small company uh, based in the UK and I think that the guy Tom Greenway and also his friend that's often in the, uh, in the uh, battle reports, I don't recall the name, I'm sorry, <laughs> but they are doing a really tremendous job of producing such a beautiful game and I can't wait to get these minis on the tabletop. I will be following up this video in the future with my first impressions of actually playing the game so I hope that if you're interested to see how I like it that you just hit that subscribe button and of course let me know in the comments if this was an interesting video to you and if you're curious yourself about Moonstone the game now. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.